Hi, I'm Judy Barnes. I am the volunteer director of Spirit of the Wild Horse, <laughs> a, a nonprofit foundation for the preservation and protection of the Spanish Mustangs. Uh, we are based basically in southern Colorado at the New Mexico border, and we have about 160 horses uh, on the mesa and around the base of the mesa. And those horses, in the last five years that I have been here, we've lost over 150 horses just to theft and uh, some get hit on the highway but most get stolen and taken to slaughter. So I feed the horses in the winter to preserve and protect them because they will stay on the mesa and stay close by so I could watch over them through the winter months. And then, then in the summer they just, they'll just stay on the mesa. They don't need to go off to find food. But it's just been my, my life's passion to save these horses and I've lived with them now for over 10 years. And you no, know, almost everybody who, their, who mom is, who dad is, and you know what band they came from. And right now we're sitting with a band of bachelor stallions. Who We do have one young mare right here and her foal from last year with this stallion, but all the rest are all bachelors. And they just hang out here on the back side of the mesa near the lake, but they don't go too far out there. And right now we're out feeding some horses on the extremely muddy roads. It's been nice and warm and the snow's beginning to melt, so it's just, it's a mud bog up here. <laughs> I, st I started the Spirit of the Wild Horse, and it is a nonprofit foundation for the preservation and protection of wild horses. And I work with horses and horse groups all over the country. I work with the Cloud Foundation, and with rescues, and with the wild horse and burrow groups, and we do everything possible to save as many horses as possible. But the main thing that that uh, we do is feed the horses in the winter months to keep them on top of the mesa so they don't go down to the valley because there is more food down there but if they go down the valley they get captured and taken to slaughter so what we have done is got a video system we have cameras along the back side of the mesa and they're monitored from computer and and, and um, smartphone and that way we can see the horses being rounded up and get it stopped before they're even taken from the mesa so it's just that's the only the only thing way that we can really protect them is just to catch them before they're taken away because we lost 28 horses in um, uh, August of 2014 and they were taken across into New Mexico and and taken to the Mexican border and, and the babies were taken from the mothers and the babies go for belts and purses and skinned and that's it and then the adults were taken for food and the stallion was shot because he had an open wound and the USDA will not let him go through. So we have to, we, I do everything I can to protect these horses. I just, I love them. Isn't he a handsome boy? Hi guys! What we also have done since that last uh, 28 horses were stolen, we have set up a database that lists every horse, shows a picture of their face, their foot markings, so that I have, if I need to go down to the Mexico border and, and prove that they're my horses to get them back, I've, I can have that whole database on my computer and just show the horses that, you know, how long I've known the horse and how long it didn't belong to anybody else. And they don't technically belong to me, but, you know, I watch over them. But they are technically wild horses and just run free on the mesa. But there's more horses, there's 70,000 horses in holding facilities and only about 14 to 15,000 still wild. So what a lot of the groups are trying to do is keep stallions from areas to preserve those bloodlines. So if a day ever comes where they could go back to their home and be released to, to bring back the bloodlines to where they came from, we have a lot of stallions in different areas that are, are being protected and, and saved so that someday maybe they can go home. That would be just a blessing if they could go home.